Lone Ranger. Are you silver? A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Drink and the devil is done the rest. He o and the battle the rum. There's just one little old fella. Hardly pay us to throw down on him. He's coming from town. Might be carrying grub. Yes, it might be we'll get some breakfast after all. He o and I think I see somebody in the cottonwoods ahead. Get up. Proper phrase is your money or your life. Be careful you don't lose both, old timer. Shell out. What's that thing above your eyebrow? I'm a watchmaker. Feeny McArdle. Watchmaker, engraver, jeweler extraordinary to the town of Black Moccasin. You got any watches? At the moment, only my own. Get it, Dave. What are you carrying in them sacks? Dirt. What? Dirt. Earth. Common earth. Look for yourself. Don't think I won't. Save the watch. You mind if I put my whip away? Go ahead. Ah! Ah! Up, hands up. Drop that knife. I told you it was only dirt. Strange, isn't it, for a man to be carrying sacks of dirt around? Yeah. But I don't want to hear any talk about it. What's your name? Watkins. Lies Watkins. Where from? Over yonder. Where to? You got a pretty good idea. Your partner's dead. Lower that mask. How did you do it? A little invention of mine. Lines, you haven't got a very honest face. Wouldn't leave a gold piece near yours. Well, if you're going to shoot, let's get it done. You're a pretty tough customer, Line. Not afraid to die, are you? Not unless I'm talked to death. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. I aim to have you live. <laughs> You'd prefer that, wouldn't you? I'd be beholden. I might even find you a job. Why should you? Well, I need help. Besides, my business is expanding. I don't know anything about watches. I'm also an engraver. Look, if you're just tantalizing me, you can go ahead and shoot. But I'm not, Lige. I mean it. I could use a man like you, a killer and a thief. Make up your mind. All right, I'll do it. Good. Now, bury that thing over in the cottonwoods. What'll I dig with? It is a problem. You can empty those sacks of dirt over them and bring them back to me at Black Moccasin. Do you think you're bright enough to find it? About three miles down the road, the way you came. That's right. You'll find my face right next to the bank on the main street. A very good location. Horse with a broken shoe? Ah, they go this way. That would be about two or three hours ago. About an hour before dawn. Kimosabe, them know we chase them? I don't see how that's possible. Then why they travel by night and they go fast? Because they're afraid, Taro. They rob too many banks and kill too many innocent people. They know sooner or later their crimes will catch up with them. Can we go on some more? Silver, scout them, need rest. I don't like to push the horses, Taro. But we're close to the end of the trail. The signs tell us that those Watkin boys haven't eaten for 24 hours. Dave's horse needs a blacksmith. And that means them have to find ranch or town. The town of Black Moccasin is less than five miles away. Tracks point toward the road. Let's go. Hello, how does a pile of dirt find its way to the middle of a road? Maybe a gopher. No, a gopher pushes out finer dirt than that. Somebody must have been carting it. Look, he must have a blood. Dave Watkins' horse again. The buggy or a light wagon. Uh, them stop here, turn around, and go back. Looks like another holdup for the Watkins brothers. Them hold up buggy, shoot driver, then pull him out. Get in the buggy and go to Black Marcus. What happened to the body?
Dead. And not been dead long, Kimasabi. No, this happened within the past hour. Smell that soil. Why somebody carry dirt around? Maybe got gold. Nothing like that, Tunnel. This is just soil. Not even good topsoil. Why should anyone be carrying it around in the early hours of the morning? Up, boys. Get your hands up high. I can put out a candle at 40 paces, so don't try any funny business. Turn around. Take your guns out with your fingertips and throw them behind that tree. You and the mask. What's it for? Does the mask need an explanation? No, I reckon not. All right, no man has to show me his face or tell his name. Meet my brother. His name was Dave. You have big fight? I didn't do this. I was about to bury him. You two can do that for me. You will happen to know a watchmaker in Black Moccasin. Name of Feeney McArdle. Little fella, knee hider was skunk and just as pleasant to have around. Did he have anything to do with this? Some. How did it happen? I don't know. He must have pulled some kind of low-down trick on Dave. He must have him going to shoot. Not as long as he needs us. Next to me, there wasn't a gun swung up faster than Dave. And he had his gun out covering the sidewinder. I just can't figure it. I've been wondering about those sacks of dirt. Yes, and I've been wondering what makes you so curious. That's deep enough. That's a mighty friendly thing you two have done. It seems all wrong to have to pay you back like this. Why do you do it? Because I've made up my mind that you're no more road agent than I am peace officer. And because I want no man to be able to say he saw me alive around these parts. The man who killed him saw you. I got a hunch he won't talk much. Now take off that mask, unless you want me to do it afterward. Well, tell him. Yes, this is it. <laughs> don't get it. A masked man and an Indian walk in here, bold as brass, tell me a wild story about Feeney McArdle and the Watkin brothers, and expect me to believe them. I told you before, my mask was on the side of law and order. We came to you for information. You think we would have walked in here with our guns holstered if I weren't telling the truth? Well, no, that part of your story makes sense. All right, mister, I'll take you on trust, but I don't have to believe everything you've told me. Especially that part about Feeney McArdle shooting Dave Watkin. Lige Watkin was there when it happened. My guess, he'll come here to get even with Feeney. Why, don't ring too, mister. Feeney McArdle wouldn't step on a bug. When did McArdle settle down here? About two years ago. Moved his watchmaking shop next to the bank. And he's been the quietest, most decent citizen we've ever had. Was he in town this morning? Goes out every morning, bright and early. He has to get some air in his lungs. Sits over his watchmaking all day and works half of the night. Why should he carry sacks of dirt out of town? And another thing that puzzles me. The way the bullet went through Dave. Not horizontally, but as though McArdle held a gun with his feet. Well, that's not possible. I know, Tonto. Yet the bullet went in on an upward path. You're way off the trail. If Feeney McArdle killed a desperado, wouldn't he come in here and tell me about it? Would he? Sure. Then why didn't he? Because he didn't do it. And I'll tell you something else, mister. That little fellow never handled a gun in his life. All he knows is watches. He couldn't fire the gun with his feet. And Dave had the drop on him. Sheriff, I'd like to look at that buggy he was driving. Where does he keep it? In the stable, back at the store. I'm going to bend the middle hand up so it catches against the glass and the watch won't work. Tommy, you take it in there. Keep him busy while I look around. Let me have your knife.
This tunnel goes right through to the bank. It comes up under a broom closet. Where nobody can notice the loose boards. Well, if the tunnel's finished, why do you keep digging? I want to enlarge this into an underground room. Special work. Might come in handy. And what you dig, you smuggle out of town in them sacks before anybody's awake, huh? That's right. Dump it in an old mine shaft where it don't draw any attention. Then where do I fit in? If this tunnel leads to the bank and you've got the combination to the safe... <laughs> I can open it blindfolded. I've opened it 50 times. Then why do you want me to stage a holdup? Why don't you just go in and clean the stuff out yourself? I want to do it slowly, my own way. What way is that? Got $20? I think so. Yeah. There. Nobody lost anything by that, did they? Well, I don't see how paper's as good as gold. Some paper. You just lost $20. That bill is counterfeit. Oh, you can't spot it. I'm the best engraver in the business. And that's my business. Make them, switch them, and have the bank pass them. Smart, eh? Yeah, plenty. Only trouble is, there's a federal bank examiner due here just about now. And those guys can almost smell the bad stuff. I think I understand. There's about $20,000 up in that safe. Most of it's bad. What's that? I mean, somebody just came into my shop. You stay here. You stage a hold up in that bank this afternoon in broad daylight and clean it out. And nobody will know if the money is counterfeit. And I can go on with my little business. And what happens to me? You'll be taken care of. You've got my word on it. You too, mister. You've got my word. I do for you. You look inside, maybe fix. Where'd you get a gold watch? Well, you've got a broken mainspring there, and I'll have to replace the pivot. Come back in a couple of days. Well, that watch not so broke before. Well, you know about watches. You brought it in for repair, didn't you? Uh, you fix too much, me take. Oh, don't be hasty. I'll give it another look. That's a very fine timepiece. You're a stranger in town, aren't you? I may have some friends. Yeah? Law-abiding ones, I hope. Uh -huh. Tell me, um, why were you trying to open that door? Uh, nobody here. They think somebody there. That's a logical explanation for any day. But not today. Lige! Come on up! Lige, I want you to look at somebody. All right, you. In there. Where's your pal? Him close by. Yes, I believe that. The minute you set eyes on him, you know they go together like harmony and grits. The fellow in the mask won't be far away. And you don't think that's safe? Look, I've tangled with the two of them before. And I've told them about you. I ain't holding up no bank while one of them's on the loose. All right, we'll eliminate both of them. We? I will. This fellow didn't come in here without his partner knowing about it. So his partner's probably waiting for him outside. Tie him up. Why don't we just shoot him? Here? And have a body to carry away? Tie him up and put him in the tunnel. Is the other one as dangerous as this one? His words. Now do you feel so easy about taking care of him? Well, I don't intend to give him an even break. Only fools do that. Tie him up. I'm going for a drive in my buggy. What for? You want the coast clear when you rob the bank, don't you? Why, well, sure, but... If that masked man is interested in me, too, I'll give him a chance to get into some real trouble. Reckon you fix that watch so good, Feeney can't make it go again. Maybe it isn't the watch that's keeping Tyler there. He may have run into trouble. Great snakes, man. Even to watch your suspicion is fact. What could little Feeney McArdle do against Tonto? Lige Watkin might be in there, too. You ever think of that? Well, I'll go right over and find out. Hold on, sir. Hey, that is kind of funny. Of course, Tonto might not be there at all. That's his horse outside the store. I'm going after McArdle. What about Tonto? 
He's in there. He's probably all right. He can take care of himself. I'll be back. Stranger. Well, when I saw a man in a black mask riding after me... This isn't a hold-up. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, certainly. About Lige Watkins? And you do know him. I even know he's going to hold up the bank this afternoon. The bank? Yeah, move closer and I'll tell you more. That's right. Now, let's settle down and talk. And I was told you were dangerous. The bank will be closed in a couple of minutes. They've all left now, but Banker Huggins and the chief clerk. That means the safe is still open. You shouldn't have any trouble. Don't worry, I won't. And don't make any mistake about where we meet afterwards. Same grove of cotton was where I buried my brother. Yeah, you better get going. His bro... His brother? That him? Lies watching. Why, that sneaking little Vinnie McArdle. That lying, battered runt. He wasn't lying about the hold up. Lies just heading for the bank. I hate crooks. Watch me stop him at the door. None of that, Sheriff. We want to take him alive if possible. All right, mister. But if he shoots Banker Huggins, that blood's on your hands. Banker Huggins won't provoke him. At this moment, his chief clerk is covering Lies from a car. How do you know? I arranged it with them before I came back here. Gentlemen Wildcats, man, I'm the sheriff around here. I like to be told about these things. The one thing I'd like to tell you is how things are with Tom. But all this is building a road that'll take us to him. you buried this morning. Lige Watkins' brother. <laughs> you know what Lige thinks he's going to do? He thinks he's going to get that money and then shoot me. <laughs> we can't let that happen, can we? I think I'll have to change my plans and do something I didn't intend to do. I think I'll have to let that bank examiner find those counterfeit bills on Lige. Hypocritical little sidewinder. Drop that gun. Just doing your work for you, Sheriff. That fellow's a bank robber. Well, you certainly do it neat and tidy. I thought you never could handle a gun. Can't tell what you'll do in an emergency. I think Mr. McArdle knows a lot about guns. Sheriff, there's another one. I thought I killed you. You might have if I hadn't put a blank on that gun you rigged on your buggy. An Indian came in your store earlier. Where is he? I don't know. Let's take him inside. And Sheriff, you'd better watch him. He's like a rattler. Get that body over the corner. I'll see to it later. Inside. But, Sheriff, I was only doing my duty. All right, we'll find out. The bank, the man was robbing a bank. I said, all right, we'd find out. Don't you want him stopped? Tuttle. 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 All right, Phoenix. Where is he? Well, this is a little surprising. When a man shoots a bank robber, he expects to be treated as a hero. What did you do with the Indian? Instead of that, I'm being treated as a bandit's accomplice. Feeney, 
Did you shoot Dave Watkin yesterday? I shot someone that tried to hold me up. Any man has a right to protect himself. You get right down to it. There's no case against this fella. Nothing that we can prove. You were carrying bags of soil in the back of your buggy. Why? I don't have to answer that. The same kind of soil that's on this towel. Lots of it. As though a man had been digging and hadn't time to wash all of it off his hands. What was that? Sounded like a bell coming from somewhere. No go! Now I'm convinced. Half of them genuine, the other half counterfeit. And this could have gone on for years. I think it was an inspiration to have a bang past my stuff. It was a clever swindle. But all lawbreakers outsmart themselves. These plates, the things we found in your tunnel, will make very convincing evidence. Feeney, I hope they clap you in a jug so deep and thick you won't get out of your tunnel from now until the last trumpet. You plumb blasted my faith in human nature. You made a fool out of me and everybody else in this town. Your friends are leaving. Don't you want to say goodbye to them? I wouldn't take my hands or eyes off of you for a second. I don't blame you. I don't come any smarter. Unless maybe that fellow in the mask... He's smarter than any crook in the West, Feeney. Who is he? Don't you know? He's a lone ranger. Hello, Phil! 